Hi, my name is Madison Motley, and I have the absolute honor and challenge of introducing Megan Tang. If any of you have talked to me since I found out I was introducing Megan, you know that I've been way too excited for this day. Megan is one of the funniest people I have ever met. My first memory of Megan was in first grade when I discovered that she wore pajamas under her clothes. When I asked her why, she proceeded to explain to me that the air conditioning was too cold and they kept her warm. The fact that it was August when we had this conversation is the very reason why this is such a Megan thing to do. I could stand up here and tell countless Megan stories like the time she proceeded to perm her hair in first grade or like the many times she has been seen running frantically through the halls for various reasons. However, that would not fully serve Megan justice. Megan is genuinely one of the most dedicated and kindest and most loyal people I know. She is always there to be a good friend whenever one is in need or to give a good laugh when you're having a bad day. The class of 2019 is lucky to call her one of our own. So without further delay, I give you the next Tiger Woods, our very own personal super duper golfer gal, Megan Ho Tang. I, Megan Tang, have plans. I'm a planner and I've always tried to plan my day, my week, and basically my life. Third grade Megan's plan was to graduate high school at the age of 16 because I was so smart, <laughs> major in golf, be the next female Tiger Woods, and all while continuing my studies at Harvard. However, those things didn't happen. I'm 18 and I'm still in high school. <laughs> But along my past 18 years of living, many things have come up in my life unplanned. My golf is an example to this. First grade Megan would have never thought I would ever choose golf as a sport. I mean, golf? Three-fourths <laughs> three of the population already think that it's a boring sport and there's nothing to do but watch the guy or girl hit the ball with a stick. However, I fell in love with playing golf, and thus this all happened on a whim when I saw my brother play and I noticed only guys were playing. I wanted to add some represent representation, so I just started to play. I never would have thought I would keep playing for six years and also go on to play collegiate golf. But it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you can't plan everything out. Sometimes the best things come when they're not planned at all. I mean, there have also been other things that were not planned. Like the time I accidentally fell into a lake during a golf tournament. <laughs> or when the Van Choir tour bus almost left me at Orange Beach, Alabama. <laughs> or when the, when the school bus actually left me for the Hate You Give movie. Or even the time when Senora Walker pranks me by giving me a zero on the final semester exam as she handed me a detention slip that said, Sorpresa! <laughs> None of these events were planned, and you just gotta roll through the punches. A phase I was certainly not prepared for, nor was anybody, was my emo phase. I still remember in fifth grade when Miss Robinson had us do a project on an emotion as each person picked happy qualities such as joy, happiness, and bliss, I and my all black wearing, panic at the disco listening, adolescent self chose pain. <laughs> because all 11 year olds know the struggle. <laughs> Luckily, as time passed, I eventually got out of that phase, sort of. So here's what I've learned. Life never goes as planned, but each unplanned event that has happened so far has made me who I am today. I am now that golfer, panic at the disco weirdo, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, yes, having things be out of my control is scary, but who knows? Something great or crazy or hilarious could happen, and you just gotta live through that roller coaster because life's a ride. To my class of 2019, I never planned to make such great friends when I came to St. Mary's. From hearing Avery Savage Burns yelling random Backstreet Boys lyrics with Pooja and Lena, 
and my daily AOs with Hadia. Thank you so much for dealing with all my unplanned hecticness for 12 years. The only thing I haven't planned out is surviving without all you guys next year. But I know life's gonna take me on a ride and I'll meet you all on the other side. Thank you.